This is an example of one of the training videos in our FileMaker certification preparation course at ProductiveComputingUniversity.com. This is the getContainerAttribute function. This takes two parameters, the container field and the attribute name. It returns all kinds of types and it is the file metadata of the specified container field. The help file has an excellent chart of all of the different attributes, and you want to know right up front that some attributes may not return a result. So when you use something like all, if it's a photo, it can't return the song part of it. So this is grouped by categories and you've got the attribute parameter, what it returns and the type that it is. So we have images, we have photos. Orientation is interesting because it says it returns a number, but it's actually returning this whole thing, not just a number. And you've got audio, you have barcodes, you have signatures, and then you have groups where you can get all of the attributes for that specific group. I have a layout set up to demonstrate this with the function here. We have the container field, which is here. The attribute name is either going to be this or this. You can use either the group attribute or the single attribute. So is this matches everything here and all of these single attributes are in these categories here. The best one is the all because it shows everything that could be shown about this particular item. I also like that it gives this little heading here of which group that is. If I just put general in then we get these seven fields, but we don't get the heading. And if we choose an individual attribute name, like file name, then we don't get the value that we got on this part here, where you get the attribute and the value. You get the attribute and the value. Since this is a file and not a signature, signature doesn't return anything, and if you put something else in there as a single attribute, it just gives a question mark. If we look at a different kind of file and hit all, we can see we get image, photo, and general. And if you wanted one little piece of information, like maybe the model of the camera, that's easy to get. If we look at another file, this was an imported audio file, but it didn't give any audio information. When I did an audio recording through my phone to insert into the container field, now I got the audio information and the general. For a signature, you get the general and some signature information. Barcode, of course, another image of the FileMaker certification certificate and a PDF of the certification study guide. Each of those have different metadata and all of this is gotten from this one little function. And that's it. There's a lot of different attributes. I'd recommend just reading through them so you're a little familiar with what can be retrieved from this function and maybe play around with it a little bit in your own solution. I hope you enjoyed this sample from our FileMaker certification preparation course. Visit ProductiveComputingUniversity.com for more information about the certification preparation course and other training to help you save time as a FileMaker developer.